All right, guys, what is up, YouTube? I just want to let you know really quick that there's some new developer branded apparel at developerbrand.com. We have some sick hoodies like the one I'm wearing with some nice polos and even some nice shirts if you want them. But anyway, go ahead and check that out in the link description below. If not, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you follow me, if you know me, man, usually my videos start with insane drone footage in the beginning and I have crazy b-roll throughout the entire video to keep your attention but today's video is kind of a tutorial and this tutorial will be about how if i had to start over again if i had no experience as a developer let's say i never became a developer four years ago let's say that i decided to stay at my dead end job as an executive assistant paying old teen bucks an hour with horrible health insurance and that i was never willing to take a risk of myself because i never believed in myself that i could do it let's just say all that happened let's say that I'm still at that job and today is a day that I need to change my life. And so I need to be a developer in six months. And when I say I need to be a developer in six months, I don't mean I need to be an insane godly developer with amazing coding skills, but I just need to get that junior position within six months, which is possible. But that all depends on how hard you're willing to work, right? How hard I'm willing to work. So what would I do? Um, anyway, let's get into this, man. Actually, before you even share that, there are so many aspiring developers who don't even try when they think about wait i could be a developer wait they pay well wait software engineers web developers are the rock stars of the world today what what is this and then they go to craigslist they look at the job ad and they see that the requirements for a developer is insane they see oh senior developer mid-level developer you need to learn html css javascript sas less jquery vue.js react.js angular node.js mysql you need to learn terminal you need to learn twig you need to learn how to work with databases what the heck is wordpress what is all this what is jira what the heck is that what is bitbucket people see that and immediately turn off thinking that in order to be a developer to get that first job you need to know everything that is not true whatsoever that could not be further from the truth when it comes to being a junior developer getting your first junior position now i'm not saying google or microsoft or amazon that's a totally different level okay so what companies are looking for when it comes to a junior developer is not someone who has all the skills that's not true man what they look for is number one do you fit the culture or will you ruin it Secondly, do you have potential or do you not? Third is, do you have passion or do you not? If you have all three, your chances of getting that first job will increase a lot. So in this video, I'm going to explain how exactly can you prove to them that you have that passion, that you have that potential. A lot of times people think that you're born with potential. No, I don't agree with that at all. I think the way you show potential is through your hard work, through that mentality that you have. Don't think that you automatically can't do it thinking that you need to have all these skills. That's not true. Not true at all. Okay, so month number one, what would I do? I'm talking to myself right now. I don't have much money, so I can't afford much. So what I would do month number one is I would register to ttreehouse.com. First of all, that's the place I became a developer in three months. That's why I always represent them because they changed my life. I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever, like people say, man. I would go to teamtreehouse.com, register for the $25 per month membership. If you can do the tech degree, if not, it's fine. I would go through the basic front-end developer course. But the thing is, even when it comes to the front developer course, I won't even do the whole thing because I only have six months, right? I need to find a way to fast track this. So what I would do is that with month number one, I will not focus on JavaScript. I will not focus on any back development. I will not focus on what's the most popular language. The only thing I would do is learn HTML and CSS, do tutorials. And if you don't want to do triage, you could do Udemy, you could do Dasty, you could do Google. If you could do YouTube videos, if you can't afford any of it, which is totally fine and it works. So I would learn HTML, CSS the first month, literally through tutorials. And don't worry about if you don't know enough. Let's say you learn some things and you forget about what you learn. That's totally fine. That's totally normal, dudes. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving. Your goal is just to learn how HTML and CSS works. Your goal is just to see that is why HTML is what it is. That is why CSS is what it is as well. So remember, I'm like studying like crazy through this first month though. Like before you go month number two, some people are probably wondering, Chris, then how many hours a day would you study to understand HTML and CSS well? Number one, you will never understand it well until you have on a job experience or you work with clients as a freelance developer. People will ask me, how many hours a day would you study? Or Chris, how many hours a day do I have to study to do it? And sometimes when I hear that question, it's like, do you really want to be a developer? Like, why do you ask that question? You want to be a developer in a year? Or in six months, do you think that's going to be easy? Developers get paid well for a reason. Developers are called rock stars of the industry, of the tech industry for a reason, because it's hard. 
It's not easy. Not just anyone can do it because it takes hard work, especially as a self-taught developer. It takes perseverance, mindset. And so for, for some people to think that you only need to study an hour a day to learn code to get that job within six months a year, I'm sorry, you're wrong. I'm not saying you need to study code every single day, but I'm telling you this, if this was me, that is what I would do. I would study every day. I'd put away gaming, put away TV. Why? Because when I get the job, then I can enjoy those things. Put away all of that. And I would study as much as I can. Honestly, at a minimum, three hours a day. That's what I would do to get that job in six months. Because there's some people who will only want to study 30 minutes a day. And even during those 30 minutes, they're not really focused. They're just thinking of other things. I will tell you this. If you continue doing that, you're not going to become a developer, man. Now, Chris, let's just say I only have an hour a day. I work two or three jobs. I have to take care of my kids. And I only have an hour a day. If you have no time, like I don't even watch TV or play games. Then you know what? If you study just one hour a day, knowing that situation with that mindset, when you do study, you honestly will probably learn more than someone who's learning three hours a day. Why? Because when you know you only have an hour a day, you're actually going to soak in more knowledge than someone with three hours because that person with three additional hours than you or two additional hours than you will actually take that time for granted. So how long would I study as much as I can? That is my answer. Month number two, after learning HTML and CSS, I would learn JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript. Again, through a tutorial because I'm still new to the programming world. I don't know everything. I don't know how any of it works. So my goal would be to learn as much JavaScript as possible. And you know what? This is crazy because I usually tell people to focus on HTML and CSS within the first three months. But the thing is now that when you're learning JavaScript, you're learning JavaScript with HTML with CSS and you're actually learning how to do CSS and do things with HTML using JavaScript, which is what a lot of us do today, manipulating DOM. Now, once I finish learning, you're not going to be finished meaning like, you know, everything you're not going to know everything. I'm telling you this and that's fine. Don't set up high standards for yourself. You will not remember everything that is not possible within the first two months. I don't remember everything and I've been doing this for four years. Month number three, this is what I would do. I would put the tutorials away, everything. And I would learn how to build three to four landing pages in month number three using HTML, CSS, JavaScript. That's all I would do. Literally using Google. All right, no more tutorials, Chris. I'm doing what you say. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a landing page. Wait, how the heck, what do I, does, where do I put the body element? Where do I put the header element? Wait, where does all of this go? You know what you could do then is that you can Google it. <laughs> Google how to make a basic landing page. Just do that. Google how to make the body element and where to put the divs and where to put the H1 element and et cetera. Why is this so important? This is so important because I'm going to tell you this. There's no tutorial that you learn in the world that will really help you in your job. Like when I actually got my first developer job, when I got my second developer job, nothing that I did in my tutorials could be compared to a real life on a job experience. So what you're doing now in month number three is that you're learning how to be a real developer. You're learning how to Google. <laughs> that is what a real developer does. That when you don't know what to do, you Google it and you build it. It's been, what's really important here is that you have the mindset that even if you don't understand what you're doing, you won't give up because you're going to want to give up because it's going to be hard as hell. I promise you and I guarantee you that you're going to want to quit because it's normal because it's not easy. You're learning a brand new actual language. So I would build four landing pages. Yes. In month number three, and this is crazy, but why is this so important? Imagine this month number six, you're interviewing for a job and the interviewer is asking you or me, the interviewee. So, You've been studying code for six months, which is um not that long. Like, why should we choose you? How do you study code? Oh, yeah. Dude, thanks for asking that. I went to Udacity.com to learn code. I went to um, Udemy and I bought all these courses and all these instructors taught me how to build a to-do list and many different variations. <laughs> and the interviewer will be like, ah, oh, so you just depended on people to teach you code. You didn't try to do anything on your own. Well, you know what? It was nice meeting you. Good luck. <laughs> Compare that to this. Here's your answer to that question. Yeah. So this is how I learned code. I mean, the first two months, like I was using tutorials because I'm so new to this world of code, but I really wanted to challenge myself. I really wanted to think of a developer. And I heard that when you get lost as a developer, one of the main things that every developer does is that they go 
to google.com and stack overflow so i wanted to learn how to build basic pages on my own without a tutorial and yes i forgot what i learned and yes i forgot a lot of what i actually learned but i learned to google things like i learned how to search things up in the internet like i didn't even know what a nav bar was I would just call that the menu before. Now I know when, if I don't know how to build a nav bar, I type a nav bar. And it's so cool because I was actually to learn a lot more using Google and Stack Overflow compared to when I was using tutorials. So I guess you could say, I learned to become more independent as a developer. Uh, I learned how to just learn using documentation. <laughs> Who would you rather hire? Person number one, or person number two. Easily person number two, right? That is why I'm saying build at least four landing pages using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, please note, these pages do not have to look nice. That is why you have UI UX designers who design the pages, then you slice up the whatever picture they give you and you create that image of code. That's all you have to learn to do. So don't worry about making things look nice. What people will look for is a functionality and the kind of things you try to build. Wow, this video is actually becoming longer than I realized, but oh well, I'll upload it anywhere. Now, you finish all three months. You learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Month number three, you built four landing pages at a minimum using HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Now, as you go into your fourth month, one thing that I would do now is this. Start applying to jobs. You already have four landing pages. I mean, I do, right? So why would someone not look at me? And they don't need to know I've only been studying for three months. No one needs to know that. If they ask me how long you've been studying code, I'll be just like, honestly, I've been studying code for about nine months. Because what you're doing in three months, if you follow exactly what I said, you're going to be able to learn more compared to someone who's been doing tutorials and depending on tutorials for two months, uh, for two years. Why? Because a person depending on tutorials never learn how to think for themselves when it comes to learning code. So I would start applying and some people might think like, Chris, like, why would I apply? It makes no sense. I only have three months of experience of just learning. I'll tell you this. Those jobs that are available online right now will be gone in a month, if not a couple of weeks. So let's say you apply and those jobs are not there anymore. What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. Let's say that you actually apply to the job thinking you don't have a chance and they actually get back to you. Guess what? You have an interview. And guess what? There's a good chance you're probably not going to get hired. But what do you have now? You have experience as an interviewee. You gain so much experience from interviewing and jobs. And I'm gonna tell you this, you're going to get rejected a lot, but that is normal. You have nothing to lose to start applying. That's the mindset I had. And literally after learning code for three months, what I did was start applying. And on my second interview, right? Oh, sorry. On my first interview, I got hired on the spot because I decided to apply. Imagine if I didn't. Imagine if I kept thinking I can't get a job. There's no point. Let's say I started thinking negatively instead of being positive, thinking that there's a chance. I would have never been at where I'm at today. Seriously, I wouldn't even have this YouTube channel. So start applying. Start applying on your fourth month. Don't think too much. Just do it. Now, what I would do on month number four is now, after learning what I did those first three months, on the fourth month, I would start learning React.js. I would go to tutorial. I'll probably go to Team Treehouse again. And I would use that tutorial to learn React.js for that whole month. And just learn how React.js works. That's it. And then build things using the tutorial. Then what I would do is on the fifth month, again, put away all the tutorials. Now build something in React.js using Google, using documentation. Learn how to use documentation. That is gold, dude. That is complete gold if you're able to learn that early in the game. Then what I would do is I would build two or three applications using React.js. If it's one, that's totally fine. But the goal would be two or three so you can show it to an employer using all of these projects as a portfolio and then they can track how you improved within the last couple of months or <laughs> year. Then on the fifth month, again, by the time you got here, we're still applying to jobs. And it's okay if no one accepts you. You don't know crap yet. <laughs> on the fifth month, what I would learn to do is actually upload my code to GitHub. But on the fourth month, I want you to focus on just React Yes. So on the fifth month, now you need to learn how to use GitHub for committing your projects, to making pull requests, because committing and doing pull requests and etc are things that developers do on a daily basis, if not multiple times in the same day. I mean, I do that. Upload things to GitHub, or if you want to use, use Bitbucket, or use whatever source to just show your code to the world. Imagine, you are able to do all these things within your fifth month. Not gonna lie, man, that's impressive. Because when you do interview, what better way to show your passion when you're able to learn all these things in five months? If you do this and you interview for a job, imagine what an employer will believe what you can learn when they hire you. Like, dang, 
he learned all of this on his own how to work with a documentation how to push and pull things from github from to and from github that's impressive why wouldn't they hire you does that make sense and of course now when you're doing this you learn the terminal because you use a terminal to commit and push things now we make it to the six month last but not least if i still don't get a job by then which would be crazy to me dude insane oh my gosh what i would do in the last month is learn how to work with databases and i mean like just the basics man know what a database is how to manipulate data in there just the basic of the basics maybe you'll even learn a very little php because i'll tell you this as a front-end developer even though you're a front-end developer which is what a lot of new aspiring developers go for front-end developer rather than back-end developer what we all do is that we do work with a database and so learning those basics is huge this is what i would do in six months now if you want to hear all this in much more detail i mean listen to my podcast because i explained it much better on there i'm gonna tell you that but this is what i would do to get my first developer job in six months and i know some people or a lot of people will be thinking this is crazy but yo if you're put in a situation when you have to and you put in the hard work for just six months dudes even if it's just a year yo your life will change yo four years ago i was making thirty two thousand dollars a year and then they cut my hours brought it down to 20k a year and my health insurance was horrible which i need <laughs> then when I finally got my first developer job, I went from 28K a year to 45K a year like that. What I was able to do and how I was able to live with so much less stress was so worth it. And this was only in three months. <laughs> and then in two years, I almost doubled my salary. Does that make sense? Now I'm telling you this, I make a lot more, <laughs> a lot more. If you were to ask me, I'll tell you this, I am earning north of 100K a year, over 100K a year. Um, now this is including, of course, my side hustles as a feel as a contract developer where I work with particular clients too. Okay. But I make much more now. Why? Because for the first three months and not including the next six months while learning more code while at the job, like I put in a hard work, yo, I put in a lot of hours, but because I was willing to sacrifice and put away gaming and put away all these different things and go all out and really securing my future, I'm where I am now. And if I didn't do that. If I wasn't willing to work that hard, I'd still be living paycheck to paycheck, yo. I'd probably be living on a car right now. So, no regrets. Anyway, if you made it to the end, please leave a comment and let me know. That would be amazing to see. But other than that, dude, thank you guys for watching. If you can, leave a like on this video. And if not, subscribe. I would appreciate that so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. This is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer and I'm out, dudes. See you guys later. Peace.